Paper can be delicate, fragile, light, flexible, soft, but also resistant, versatile, and can grow centuries in perfect condition. I love it for all these reasons. Paper can imitate any other material, fabric, leather, wood, stone, skin, but also lace. Or hair. I started to play, paint and sculpt with paper a little more than two decades ago. I believe that the material chose the artist, and not the other way around, and paper chose me. And ever since, it never crossed my mind to work with any other material. It has been at the center of my art and life. In my art, I mainly work with two papers, mulberry paper and plain white craft paper. Their possibilities are endless and unlimited and they are just enough to materialize and turn into reality all my dreams. I draw sketch hand for ideas in my sketchbooks, sometimes they are made from paper but also cotton, and those look like old parchment, it's a pure delight to open them and let the ideas land on these precious pages.
days, paper is often seen as an enemy of our modern digital world. As something belonging to the past, you should always prefer a digital version to a paper version. And paper has been in people's lives for centuries. It was common not so long ago to see people in the train reading books, newspapers, magazines. In all my recent train trips, I didn't see one single person in the coach in the train reading a newspaper, a magazine or a book. Not one. As a paper artist and a paper lover, I cannot help noticing and regretting these past changes. In my case, paper is deeply rooted in my art and also in my life. I love old letters, I collect them, but I also like to write them and to receive them. And I decided last year to go back to this habit used for centuries to communicate. And every month now, I like to sit at my little table, settled in front of the window, and take a piece of paper and write to a dear friend or sometimes a client. And what a joy to receive these letters in your mailbox in the morning. What I love in paper is its longevity. It looks fragile, but if well kept, well taken care of, it can cross centuries and can last longer and better than any fabric. It's always thanks to paper that we can revisit the past, that we can understand those who live before us with their journals, letters, documents, newspapers. It's always thanks to paper that we can understand their lives, their mind, their dreams. As a paper lover and a paper artist, reading all dunting books is of course a favorite, favorite joy of mine. Turning the pages. Hearing the sound of the paper is just an experience of its own. and discovering all the paper treasures kept between the pages, messages, notes, letters, but also flowers and insects. And once you have tested it, tried it, it's impossible to go back to modern books. Of course, I also read modern books for new and recent publications, but for any old and past writers and books, I just prefer reading an old copy. <laughs> 